Hey guys, hope your day is going well. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your uh, Node.js and Express for to use TypeScript. And I am going to, the first thing you're going to do is have npm installed. Make sure you have that installed. If you don't, you'd have to go online and type in download npm. Then once you do, you do npm install global TypeScript. Right? I already have that installed already. Right. And then once you have that, I do TSC. Okay. So yes, my windows is not allowing me to do my, um, VS code is not allowing me to do it. My, um, PowerShell. Right. Cause it's running on PowerShell. But if I do it here on my command prompts, you would see. TSC, right? It works. So to enable this, let me show you how to do that. So this is how you solve it. You go to, you know, your PowerShell. I mean, just PowerShell. Then you have to run it as administrator. Yes. Then you come down here, open this. Then what you're going to do is to say set execution. Policy. Unrestricted. Making sure that's the right spelling. Yes, then you're going to say yes for all, right? So you're going to say capital letter A. And if you want to turn this off, you can always go back with the same command and then say no. So as you can see here, and let's see if it's going to work. Let's come down here. Boom. Right? Simple as that. That's a fix. So now let's clear all this. Let's make a new file here. It's called this app.ts. Right? Then we'll just say console log. Hello, world. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to now do this. We're going to say S, sorry, TSC. That's so TSC compiles your script file into JavaScript. So when you run that, Boom, you see that there? Right, it runs it. Then if you want to run the JavaScript, you do node app.js and you can see hello world. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to download the config file for um, TypeScript. So just do TSC in it. Right, it's right there. Let's move this up. Let's leave this one here. Right. Let's make this. Put this in the source folder. No, rename that, please. Okay. Now put the app in there. Yeah. Then I'll go to the config file. Then we're going to uncomment this one here because I'm going to be using node. Then I'm going to look for the output directory. It's going to be in the destination folder. It's going to make one when I compile the code. And then the resource or the root folder it's going to be right, this one here on comment it and it's going to be in source, right? Let's save that. Let's see if everything is going to work well. So if I just did say, cancel this, if I just did, um, let's see, TSC like this. 
boom did you see that it made a new file here so you can see our app.js is in use strict our app.js is in um the dist folder when we compiled so i compiled on the parent directory right so i just did tsc and then it made this folder here with the compiled TypeScript, which is um, JavaScript. We have make another one here. Let's show you this new file called this index.ts. Then we're going to do write another JavaScript here. And just say hello, right? And if I cancel this, I mean, clear my terminal. Then I do this again. Boom, you see it here. So it just organize my um, TypeScript project. So then the next thing I'm going to do, because I want to use um, Download Express, I want to use um, Node.js, like start my back end. I'll do npm init. And then the backend name would be Nemo package with backend, right? Version, description, entry point, index.js. Now I want it to be up. The TSC. Auto, Victor. If you don't want to fill out all this, you can just do npm in it dash y to give you a blank a boilerplate package json like this one here all right so now let's begin with um, some dependencies that we need for the app so the first thing we're going to need for sure is express right then the next thing i'm going to need is going to have this to the development TypeScript. So let's see. So I'm going to say TypeScript. So we're telling our app to use TypeScript, TS node. Right then, node mon. Then I'm going to do get some types. So we're going to get types for our node. We're going to get types for express right then enter i was wait for all this dependencies to download and then we'll begin okay it's over already so cls let's see everything looks good then what's the next step so let's start making our app right just come down here Let's remove this one here. Let's cycle bin. Then remove this one here. Right. So we'll come to our packages and let's go. Let's come here, actually. So all I'm going to do is, oh, let's actually take that out. Do start. It's going to be node. No, node mon. Um, I'm going to do CRC of the TS. Right. Oh, should we do now? Let's do the destination, then app.js. Right. Let's run the npm start. Then this one is going to run the development. So we're going to do this like this. Node mon. Oh yeah, I remember now. It's supposed to be node for the first one. So this is where we want to start. You know, run our app.js to see if there's any error, right? Then this is to run the server. So we're going to say node mon. 
then I'm going to do RC, then I'm going to say Ablo TST, right? Then we're going to, let me change this over here to source, right? Then we're going to say build. So build, we're going to do this. Let me see if everything looks correct. Yes. Yeah, my notes correct. Okay, so we're going to do the build is going to help us compile our TypeScript, JavaScript, and put it in this folder here. Right? So let's press save. Everything looks good so far. Okay. No, that's good. So now let's make our app, right? Actually, let's take this out. So we're going to do import express. No. From express. Right? No, control Z. What's that? Okay. Then I'm going to do up is equals to express. Const up is equals to express. Save that. Then, um, what else again? We're going to have a constant. Call it port. We're going to run on port. Port 5000. Right. What else do I need to use again? Hmm. I think. Yeah, so let's start. Let's make a function called start. Right. To start our server. We're doing this like this. We're going to try and listen and see what happens. Right? So we're going to try and do app the listen at port. Then to just say running console.log. Step with literal running on port. Right. Then I do I'm going to do a catch error. And cause the log the error. Save that. Then I'm going to call start. So once we, one thing we want to do is we want our app to connect when our bank it, our back end to connect when we know that the app is listening right and if it's not it throws an error then call it so it starts and move this over here cls to do it. it's already cleared so we're going to do um cd it's not already in back and ready so it's going to do npm row and build Right, then we'll go to out the JS as you can see this. This is the JavaScript JavaScript version of um this here. About TypeScript over here. Then I'm going to try and run this. Okay, let's see. App dot get at the home directory. I'm just gonna say Rest requests and response. So we're going to say send. We're going to do the usual. No, no, no. Control Z, Control Z. Send. Um, yeah. Hello. Right. What's happening here? Okay. Of type any. So that's actually get some of the types requests and what's that response right then i can do it of type response i can do this of type 
request. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why we installed um, types for Express. So that's it over there. Save. Then now we're going to run build again. Run build. Okay. So I'm going to do um, run dev. Run on ports. Oh. <laughs> Running on ports. Yeah, save that there. Will they change? It changed, okay. I'd always like to keep my um my name changes. I always like to run build. So that it keeps my JavaScript. Then I can also run npm start. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this instead. It's gonna do up the use express dot json, right? And then we will just say send json, right? Save that. Okay, another thing we can do, right? Let's go down to extensions. Then let's download um, Thunder Client. Thunder Client is for it's like using Postman. It replaces Postman. Yeah, okay. using Postman on your um, Visual Studio Code. See it right here. So we're just going to just try a new request. We're going to use, if you guys go to the ENV environment, football environment variable, right? That's all we need. Then I'm going to see URL and it's going to be local local hosts five thousand right that's successfully good then new request and that's how you use it so I just made a group of variables so I don't always have to write local hosts I just do uh double parentheses and do URL right and then I should do a get process processing please wait okay, let me find out what the issue is here we go it works I forgot to you know put the brackets here at the JSON so that's it's actually a function call not express.json express.json function call and um, let's test it again show you here send it says hello so we're good kind of remove this i thought it was something about the name of the link let's go down here and then remove this it should still work save it come down here go to our request send it hello and they have it folks how to set up your node.js and express to use typescript and yeah let me know if you have any questions thank you